peeps we are back with a very odd video we are back because so many publications us magazine deadline and tmz are reporting that real housewives of salt lake city star jen shaw and her assistant number one stuart smith have both been arrested today for some sort of alleged telemarketing scheme allegedly targeting senior citizens or as they say older folks i said wait a minute now jen are you trying to be the new Teresa judas what is happening here okay i never got a chance to comment on the last scandal that she had the way she was speaking to her designer slash assistant because you guys know my son got hurt the same day that that story was like really blowing up online so i never got to report on it but i mean lady really you went from screaming and treating people utterly disrespectfully to now allegedly scheming older people come on now according to tmz she helped her lavish lifestyle that she flaunted on the show by being a part of some major wire fraud and telemarketing scheme that is according to the feds which is the fbi now that's the one thing you know regular cops it's bad enough but to have the alphabet people watching you no ma'am they really keep the big receipts okay so according to the U.S. District Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Jen Ann Stewart, who goes by her personal assistant on the show, assistant number one, generated a solid lead list of innocent people who could be targeted for a nationwide scam for about nine years. Nine years! Now here's, here's the thing. Now, if this is true, because right now we're using alleged because we don't know for sure, I don't know these people. Okay, if this is true, why would you try to be in the spotlight? Why would you sign up for the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City when you know that you are doing something wrong, something shady? And throughout all of this season, I said, how does this woman get all this money? Her husband is an assistant football coach for a college, and I don't know how much those people make, but I thought, hmm. She sure does spend a lot of money. And that's what the alphabet people thought about Teresa. You know, when she was handing out all that cash, like cash. She's out buying furniture with $6,000 worth of cash at her pocketbook. I mean, her purse. The feds say that many of those people targeted were the vulnerable, often elderly working class people who were duped by the promises of business opportunities involving Shaw, Smith, and their other alleged co-conspirators. I said, all right now, we're gonna have to watch this story as it develops. So both Shaw and Stewart were arrested in Salt Lake City and they will appear in federal court today. Each of them have been charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with telemarketing through which they victimized 10 or more persons over the age of 55. The maximum penalty for this charge is 30 years. In addition, they'll also have been hit with another count of committing money laundering. This count carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. According to the feds, Shaw and Stewart allegedly targeted and defrauded hundreds of victims before being busted by the NYPD, Homeland Security, and other law enforcement agencies in a joint effort. I said, holy crap, they put a task force after you? Oh no, oh no. I don't think Coach Shaw is gonna have a big enough pep talk for this, I'm just saying. Is he gonna be single? Okay, okay, okay. Back to the, back to this, it's not about me. Y'all know I'm looking, right? Anyway, this is not about me. TMZ states that of course we know that on the show she often throws tantrums, yelling, and just exploding and has this volatile behavior. They said, well now she's got something to be pissed off about. I said, oh gosh, TMZ is shady to the end. Well listen peeps, listen. I will keep abreast of this subject and I will hit you up as soon as I have more information. Anyway, until next time, bye.